Hey guys, Toast here. Today I want to talk about something that really bothers me and I'm sure bothers quite a few of you as well, hacking in online games, and in particular in Battlefield 1. If you play Battlefield 1 on either PlayStation 4 or Xbox One, this is a problem that you probably don't encounter all that often. Hacking on consoles takes a lot more effort and is notably more complicated due to the closed systems that both Microsoft and Sony have in place. You still see it occasionally, but it isn't particularly frequent. However, hacking on PC is a different beast entirely. With the ease at which people can obtain these programs that do the work for them, hacking has always been and will likely continue to be a problem for the PC community, and unfortunately Battlefield 1 is no exception. What prompted me to initially make this video happened a few weeks ago. A friend and I were playing on the DLC map for Dun Heights, and I kept encountering a player that I noticed was killing me really quickly. I didn't think much of it until toward the end of the match when I noticed I had gone 0-5 against him, and he managed to rack up over 70 kills with only 5 deaths in that match using the M1909 Benet Mercier. My friend had to depart, so I decided to spectate the player, only to watch him clearly hacking on Fort DeVoe using both the Benet Mercier as well as the Automatico. I recorded him, but unfortunately, in my infinite wisdom, somehow managed to delete the footage, but fast forward just a couple weeks and you have the footage that you're now seeing in the background from just a few days ago. There was actually a party of three hackers in the games you're watching, two of which seem to be pretty bad at it surprisingly, but one who was clearly dominating and frustrating much of the lobby. The three players are Aretheus and Beware of Pirates, which are the two bad ones, and then Silent Sphinx 69, of whom most of this footage focuses on. If you're a PC player, their names will be in the description below, feel free to go and report all three of them. While part of the purpose of this video is to name and shame these guys, it seems like hacking is becoming more and more prevalent, so I want to ensure that the community is aware of what signs to look for so that you don't end up reporting someone who's playing legitimately, and what we as a community can do to try and clean up the player base to make the game more enjoyable for everyone. With that in mind, let's cover some telltale signs that you can use to pinpoint hacking in your in-game experience. The first thing you may notice that'll start to tip you off is that you're dying a number of times to the same person throughout the game, and each death is happening almost more quickly than you can react. This is obviously because some, if not most of the hackers are using aimbot software, where they're able to have the program aim at you for them as soon as you become visible on their screen, minimizing the chance that you have to return fire. In addition to this, you may also notice that it seems like enemies always know where you are. This may be due to wall hacking where players can quite literally see you through the map's geometry, allowing them to anticipate when they'll actually see you on the screen, but it's also a symptom of aimbots which will draw their reticle to you through the geometry, alerting them to your presence. Yet another thing to notice is if it seems that a player is having unusually high headshot accuracy, perhaps getting 60-70% to 70 or more of their kills with them, which is something that can be tuned using aimbots. These are what I would consider to be more subtle cues to something happening, despite the fact that they're really not very subtle, but that doesn't mean that some players may not be doing things that are far more obvious. I've encountered players that are entirely invisible, players that are able to teleport to different parts of the map, or even players that are able to jump far above the map to where nobody can really see them. These things, while far more obvious, are still prevalent, but it doesn't exactly take a keen eye to pick them out. Now before you just go and outright report someone, unless you have really compelling evidence like you've seen a floating gun running around or you see a player high above the map, I recommend taking a few minutes to exit the server and re-enter as a spectator like I did to get this footage. The best way to confirm if someone's actually doing something illegitimate is to watch them play. It's pretty obvious when you're watching someone from their point of view if they're using some sort of hack in their gameplay. Please note that it may not be blatantly obvious at first because there's different settings that can be tweaked for these hacks in attempts to make them less obvious, but you're likely going to notice what seems like tracking other players through walls, very quick target acquisition, and general odd movements that seem difficult to justify. The reason that I say to watch in spectator mode before actually doing anything is that occasionally you will come across players that are just genuinely really good, and it's best not to act accidentally before you're very confident that there's foul play. Another reason that it helps to spectate, and this is for PC specifically, is that you can then confirm in the in-game chat that you're watching the hacker and that he or she is indeed hacking, allowing other players to act accordingly. So you've confirmed someone's hacking. Well now what? You could go and just find another server and go on with your gaming, however that'll only solve the issue for you in the short term. It doesn't help at all to deal with the actual long-term issue. If you're playing on console, you should be able to find the player in question on your recently played list. From there, you can go to their profile and report them directly to Sony or Microsoft. If you're playing on PC, you should pull up their profile through the Origin client, and there you'll have the option of reporting them for cheating. 
Either way, you're going to want to take the extra steps to report the player and encourage those in your game to do the same. Granted, I don't know much about the processes in place for these types of issues at Sony, Microsoft, and EA, but I think it's reasonable to assume that the more noise you and others make about a specific individual, the more likely it is that these companies will act on it. Hacking software continues to get more advanced, and I doubt it's an issue that we'll see disappear entirely, but the more we can do as a community to try and call out those who are using these hacks and bring their actions to light with Sony, Microsoft, and EA, the more we can help clean up the community as a whole. Now I'd like to hear your thoughts on hacking videos in general. Do you want to see more of these name and shame type videos if I come across more hackers? Let me know in the comments. With this, I'll leave you with a little more hacking gameplay in the background to watch to help you identify it in the future. As always, if you like the video, please leave a like, and if you want to see more content, please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching, this is Toast, and I'll talk to you soon.